morning. This is Miles with Best Practice Medicine. This is another in our video series covering extremity immobilization and splinting. In this and the next few videos, we'll be covering immobilization of the lower extremities, including hips, knees, ankles and feet, and the upper and lower legs. The topic of today's video is immobilization of the ankle. Remember with this and every other splinting intervention, the first step is manual stabilization of the injured part and the whole intervention is bookended by assessment of the patient's circulation, sensation, and motion. Splinting material options for the lower extremities include SAM splints, Coban, ACE wraps, cravats, towels or rolls for padding, and padded board splints, which is a commercial device with a rigid board and padding on one side so it conforms to the patient's anatomy. When manually stabilizing and immobilizing an injury, remember to stabilize above and below the injured part. Ideally, a position of function in the foot will be maintained, which is this neutral anatomic position. However, for an injury to the joint, we are not permitted to attempt realignment. First, we'll perform or direct manual stabilization of the injured extremity. Normally, we'd have an assistant do this, but so you can see clearly what we're doing, we'll verbalize that for this video. Then, we'll assess the patient's CSMs. Next, we'll select the proper splinting material. For an ankle, you can use a SAM splint, padded board splints, a soft splint, or other improvised material. Next, you'll form the splinting material to match the patient's anatomy. Then we'll secure the splitting material using ACE bandage, Coban, or other wrapping material. Remember that the strength of a SAM splint comes from the cylindrically shaped channels. So to build a strong splint, carefully form the splitting material to the patient's body to ensure structural integrity. Select the proper splitting material and position it next to the patient's body. Could I have you hold those there for me? Thanks, man. It's important to pad any voids. I'm actually going to take this one away. After mobilization is complete, finish up by rechecking the patient's CSMs. What toe am I touching? Middle toe. Can you wiggle them for me? Any numbness or tingling in there? No. Nope. Nope. And do a pinch. If you weren't wearing a sock, I could check your capillary refill. Thanks for tuning in to BPM TV. As always, we hope you found this video informative and useful to your clinical practice. Tune in next time for more on extremity immobilization. Always, thanks for watching.